A chemical element is one of the more fun elements on the periodic table. Although it is the fifth most abundant element in the universe, only a tiny fraction of it can be found on the Earth's atmosphere. However, neon does have some unique uses by humans that you would have never even thought of. In 1898, William Ramsey and Morris Travers were studying Krypton at the University College in London. Shortly after their discovery of Krypton, they were able to make a new lighter gas that glowed bright red when a charge flowed through it. William Ramsey named the new gas Neon. Like Krypton, Neon was discovered through the study of liquefying air, which is also one of Neon's uses. Neon's periodic table of elements box can give us a few facts about it. First off, its element name is Neon, which is pretty obvious. Its element symbol is Ne. Its atomic number is 10, which can therefore give us the number of protons and electrons, which will both be 10. The atomic mass is 20.1797. By using the atomic mass, we can calculate the number of neutrons. First, we just round off the atomic mass, giving us 20, and then we subtract the number of protons, which is 10, to get the number of neutrons, which will then be 10. Its electron configuration has a 2 and then an 8, so both of their shells are full. Now we'll just go through some quick facts about neon. Its phase at room temperature is a gas. Its element classification is a non-metal. Its group name are the noble gases. And now it's color. It's colorless as a gas, but when it's turned into a plasma using an electric charge, it turns into a bright orange-red color. Its period number is 2, its group number is 18, and it's not poisonous or toxic. Its reactivity is non-reactive. Some properties of neon are its boiling point, which is negative 246.7 degrees Celsius, its melting point, which is negative 249 degrees Celsius. It's not malleable nor ductile, nor does it conduct electricity. Its density is 0 0.0008999 centimeter, grams per centimeter cubed. <laughs> Most of the uses of neon aren't everyday items, however they are very interesting. A first use of neon are vacuum tubes. A vacuum tube is a tube that allows the passage of electric current through it to help amplify electronic signals. It's most often used in radios and electronic devices. A second use is helium neon lasers. A helium neon laser is a laser that contains both helium and neon. HENE is the mixture of helium neon that is used in this laser. It is the most common and inexpensive gas laser. A third use is a lightning arrester, which is a device on electrical power systems that help protect it from lightning. Glow lamps are another use of neon, and of course, they glow, they glow up red because that's neon's color. Aircraft beacons are glowing lights on airplanes that are used as signals in the sky. They're used because neon is able to glow and remain at, in the plasma state in cold temperatures. Advertising signs are the most well-known use of neon. They do not always glow red because they may be combined with other elements or there may be tubes around the neon that are affecting its color. TV tubes are another use of neon. TV tubes are electric tubes that allow passage of electric current displaying pictures on a TV. They were more commonly used on older TVs. Cyrogenic refrigerant is another use of neon. Neon is used in it as a gas in the process of cooling certain materials. When neon becomes cold, it turns to a liquid. Because neon is very non-reactive, it is a great liquid to use for cyrogenics. It's a much better option to use for refrigeration than helium or nitrogen. It is 40 times the refrigeration capacity of helium and three times the refrigeration capacity of nitrogen. It is also a cheaper option than use it for refrigeration than using helium or nitrogen. Liquefying air is another use of neon, and it's also how it was discovered. It's used to liquefy air because of its very low boiling point. It's 
not rain, it's liquid air. Neon is also used in high voltage indicators, an electronic device used by electricians to determine how many volts are in an electric charge. A final use of neon is in wave meter tubes, a tube used to detect wave signals or radio waves from electronic devices. Now for some fun facts about neon. Adding mercury to neon turns the orange or red color to a vivid blue. Although neon is the fifth most abundant element in the universe, only 0.0018% can be found in Earth's atmosphere. When an electric current is sent through, neon changes state to plasma, which gives it its red glow. So basically, without the plasma state, neon is pretty much a colorless, odorless gas. Neon also comes from the Greek word neos, meaning new. As you can see, neon's more than just a color. Thanks for watching, and if you're subscribed, see you next time.